know building a paper airplane is a lot like preparing for life. Take the right steps of preparation and make sure you have good motivation. You will go a long way. If you've already received your kit, it should include five super long distance airplanes, five pterodactyl tubes, five metallic propulsion enhancers, and one elastic accelerator, along with a digital versatile disc. You're also going to need the following tools that are not included in the kit. Some monodirectional adhesive polymer bonding strip, a pair of turbulence minimizers, a metallic fastening device, and your brain. <laughs> but please, keep your brain inside your heads at all times while making these airplanes. When we first start out, we have some plain, ordinary objects. But these ordinary objects, if they are properly prepared and properly motivated, can do something amazing. It's kind of like how the Lord takes ordinary people and properly prepares and motivates them to do amazing things for Him. Like Gideon and David, the man after God's own heart. You should read about their lives in the Bible sometime. They were awesome. Now, Follow along with the directions that are inside of your kit. Step number one, place your plain piece of paper horizontally before you. Now, don't confuse that with a plain piece of paper you can buy at any office store. No, no, no. This is a plain piece of paper. You should see side A and lines one, two, and three in front of you. Now, fold the paper in half on line number one. Next, this is going to be difficult, unfold it. If you didn't understand that, rewind this and try it again. Well, never mind. I'll just do it for you. Step number one, fold the paper in half on line number one. Now, this is going to be difficult, unfold it. If you didn't understand that, rewind this and try it again. Wait a minute, we already did that, didn't we? My bad. Now, it's very important. When you're working with a paper airplane, you have to find the center line. That's the most important part of the airplane. Hey, that reminds me of a lesson. The center line of your plane is very important. Just like we need to find the center of our lives. What are we going to stay centered on? The Bible says to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. The Lord Jesus Christ is supposed to be the center of our lives. Our first desire should be what Jesus prayed in the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Step number two, fold on line number two. To do this, you're going to take this top edge and fold it down almost to the center line, but not quite. You want to leave a little bit of gap there, okay? Step three, you fold on line number three. Take the other side of that top edge and fold it almost to the center line, but not quite. Now, it's very important to fold your plane very neatly. Make sure all the lines line up. The neater and straighter it's folded, the better it flies. You know, it's the same way in life. The neater and better you do the jobs that are given to you, the farther you'll go in life and the more useful you'll be. The Bible says, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto man. Steps number four and five, you're going to take that folded edge that you just made and fold it almost to the center line, but not quite. Leaving just a little bitty gap in between. You know, sometimes when we look at the map of our lives, it just doesn't look like it makes any sense. But God says in Romans 8, 28, all things are going to work together for good to them that love God and who are the called according to His purpose. You and I just need to learn to trust God. He's looking at the big picture and He gets it. Step number six, 
fold the plane in half right on the center line. Now we're going to place a metallic fastening device an inch and a half from the nose of the craft, bisecting the angle of the delta configuration. Basically, that means put a staple where it says staple. Now you might think that the staple hurts the plane, but the truth is it helps. You know, sometimes we go through things that, well, they just hurt in life, but God says it will all work out for good. Kind of like the life that Joseph had in the Bible. Joseph's brothers hated him so bad that they threw him in a pit. Hello, hello, hello. And then sold him for 20 pieces of silver. But it was those actions that later set him up to become the governor of Egypt. Later in life, he looked back at all the things that had happened and told his brothers, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. And it saved a lot of people's lives. So when things happen in our lives that may seem bad, we need to remember to trust the Lord. He knows best. Step number seven. Now we need to fold down our wings. Wings generate lift. Without wings, we'd have a rocket. We don't want a rocket, we want an airplane. To do this, we're gonna take the top edge and fold it down so that it matches the bottom edge and folds right on line number six. Step eight, we're gonna take the other side and fold that top edge so it matches the bottom edge so that it's folded exactly on line number seven. Now you need to get out your turbulence minimizers. We're gonna actually take our turbulence minimizers and cut off the very back of the aircraft. This part of the aircraft causes excess turbulence. That's not a good thing, so cut right on the dotted line. Sometimes in life, we have things that cause, well, turbulence. They weigh us down. They keep us from doing what the Lord wants us to do. For example, the Bible says in Ephesians 5, 16, we should redeem the time because the, the days are evil. This means we need to use our time wisely learning God's word so we can be good witnesses for him. That means we need to spend a lot of time in the Bible. Anything that keeps you from doing that or that we put before God's word is a weight that hinders us from serving the Lord. Even if they're not bad, they can still be a weight that hinders us. Now you need to set your plane down and pick up a metallic propulsion enhancer. We have to bend the metallic propulsion enhancer so that it's in a shape that's useful for us. First, we're gonna take, we're gonna hold on to this one end that only has one loop, and we're gonna invert the primary. So I'm gonna grab this top edge, I'm gonna pull it up, then I'm gonna put my thumb on the primary, and with my finger, I'm gonna bring it all the way around so that it's inverted. Now I'm gonna grab the primary with my thumb and finger, and I'm gonna revert the secondary 200 degrees. There's 90 degrees, there's 180, and there we go to 200 degrees. That's actually about 199, but it'll do. Now, turn it over so the secondary is down and the primary is up. With your other hand, grab your airplane. Have the nose of the craft facing the hand that's holding the metallic propulsion enhancer. Place the secondary right into the tail section of the craft, right between the eyeballs there where splay would occur, and pull it forward so it attaches itself to the previously installed metallic fastening device. Now we take a piece of adhesive bonding strip. This is monodirectional adhesive polymer bonding strip, and we place it across the nose of the craft, holding the metallic propulsion enhancer in place. Now it's very important. When you use monodirectional adhesive polymer bonding strip, you must apply it adhesive side down. Otherwise, well, it'll stick to your finger. So, adhesive side down, wrap the extra underneath. Ah, just like that. If made properly, your airplane can soar over 400 feet. Now, when I think about all the steps it took to get this airplane, it makes me think of when we first get saved. Usually, we're not in the right shape to go very far for God. He has, to, he has to reshape us and remold us to fit His purpose that He has for us. Sometimes, that can be a little bit painful and quite uncomfortable. Nevertheless, if you stay surrendered to the Master's will, He'll do with you some amazing things that will bring Him glory. And when He's through with us, 
we'll all be better off. Now you need an elastic accelerator. Go ahead and use your tur turbulence minimizers and cut that right like that, making a single strand. Enlist the help of a few friends to hold it for you, and then you're going to take your metallic propulsion enhancer, hook it onto the elastic accelerator, pull down at a 30 degree angle, and watch it fly. Don't do it by yourself. It would hurt your hand really bad. Now it's time to go have some fun. See how far you can get these things to fly. Before you go though, let me tell you some troubleshooting tips that you might want to know. If your plane spins while it's going through the air, you can check a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure that your wings are super, super flat and your edges are nice and crisp. You also want to make sure that your metallic pr propulsion enhancer is bent up at least an inch above the nose of the craft. This makes sure that as it comes off the elastic accelerator, the tail of the airplane doesn't hit. Also, you want to make sure that your metallic propulsion enhancer is centered on the airplane. When you're using your rubber band or elastic accelerator, you want to make sure that you hook your airplane right in the center. You don't want to have it off to one side or another. That makes one side pull a little bit harder. When you're holding the launcher, the elastic accelerator, make sure that it's loose in between. You don't want to hold it real tight. You want it nice and loose in between. And when you're holding onto your aircraft, use a little bit of salivary extract on one of your phalanges, like that, and hold right up underneath the wings of the airplane. Now, you don't want to hold up too far and bend the wings. You want to hold just underneath where you can get a good grip so that when you pull it back, it can really cruise with no other interruptions. Some people grab their airplane like this and try to pull it back and let it fly, but as you'll notice, our wings get all bent up when we do that. So, take your troubleshooting tips and go out there and see how far you can get your airplanes to soar. Hey, if you want, there are some pretty cool lessons to learn about paper airplanes too. Make sure and share them with your friends. By the way, there are other really cool lessons you can learn from the paper airplane. For example, none of the parts can fly by themselves. They all have to work together. Kind of like the Bible says, everything works together for good. And the church, the body of Christ, there's different parts, different members. Hey, all five parts of the plane have to do their job. If any one of the parts fails, it ruins the results. You know, when it comes to the rubber band, if it's stressed too long, it'll lose its strength. You know, people do the same thing. You can check out Mark chapter 6, verse 31 for that. Another thing, all four parts of the plane must be forced into position. You have to fold and bend. They, they don't do it themselves. You know, God often has to do the exact same thing with us. He has to force us to get us into the shape that we need to be in to bring Him honor and glory. If the three flat surfaces on the airplane are straight and in balance, it goes farther. You know, it's kind of like if your body, soul, and spirit are clean, straight, and in balance, you will go farther. <laughs> Ordinary paper. Properly prepared and properly motivated can do unbelievable things. Just like ordinary people that are properly prepared and properly motivated can do unbelievable things. The neater you fold your plane, the farther it'll go. And the neater you do things in life, the farther you will go. Now, prepare to soar.
Hey, Eric Hoven here. I'm in the Creation Store in Pensacola, Florida, where they have just released the new Dino Super Airplane. Now, these, you gotta open it first. These airplanes are absolutely incredible. They will fly over 400 feet at a speed of 130 miles an hour. Let's make a couple and see how far they go. You know, it's amazing. An ordinary piece of paper, properly prepared and properly motivated, can go a long way. Just like ordinary kids, if you get properly prepared and properly motivated, you will go a long way. And I know you're gonna love these Dino Super Airplanes. They go incredibly far. Let's go outside and check it out. see how far these things will really go. We're gonna hook our metallic propulsion enhancer on the elastic accelerator, pull back at a 30 degree angle, and... Nice. All the way to the ground. 